February 25th, 1942. Los Angeles, California. Following the Japanese sneak attack on Pearl Harbor, the city is gripped by fear that Los Angeles could be next. Suddenly, just after 3 a.m., powerful arc lamps light up the night sky and the city erupts with the sound of anti-aircraft guns. It seems everyone's worst fears have come true. The Battle of L.A. took place about three months after Pearl Harbor. So many people thought that this was some sort of Japanese attack. It was an object that was tracked on radar, and it was then seen visually. And then the U.S. military fired 1,430 rounds of artillery. Lots of ground witnesses, lots of military witnesses. There were witnesses who said there were more than one of these objects. We have to put ourselves in that time frame to really understand the mindset. This is World War II, and there's all these fears, and people were on edge. But what makes the event so strange is that the Army's anti-aircraft barrage is unable to bring down any flying objects. Clearly, there were no Japanese planes in the air. There were no aircraft carriers in the area. And yet, this was a real thing. If this had been a conventional aircraft, I mean, logic suggests that it would have been shot down. So the fact that this object was seemingly impervious to this ground fire does raise the question, if this wasn't an aircraft, what was it? Nobody seems to know, not even the military. And photos making front page news the following day only deepen the mystery. In Washington, D.C., President Franklin Roosevelt's Secretary of the Navy, Frank Knox, announces that the Battle of L.A. had been a false alarm, adding there were no planes in the sky over Los Angeles. But decades later, researchers discover incredible written evidence that the military misled the public. It appears that eight days after the infamous L.A. night, Army Chief of Staff George Marshall writes to President Roosevelt to report shocking news. This headquarters has come to the determination that the mystery airplanes are in fact not earthly, and according to secret intelligence sources, they are in all probability of interplanetary origin. That particular memo from Marshall to President Roosevelt has been disputed ever since it appeared. But according to these documents, there were multiple events over LA and over by San Bernardino where objects were retrieved that were not from our civilization. The Roosevelt administration chose to keep things a secret. Many feel it was to avoid hysteria. But some people would say this is where the cover-up began. The silence from the government was the beginning of a conspiracy to keep the truth about UFOs from the public. For most, the Battle of L.A. is quickly forgotten in the urgency of World War II. But why did Roosevelt choose to cover up the facts? But is there more to the UFO phenomenon that President Roosevelt keeps secret? December 13, 1944. Commander of Allied Forces in Europe, Dwight Eisenhower, nearly a decade before he's elected president, issues a press release acknowledging that unidentified objects are interacting with Allied planes called Foo Fighters. Foo Fighters is the name given to strange balls of light that were seen by pilots during the Second World War. Now, if you actually drill down into some of the detailed reports, you see very clearly that some pilots were talking about structured craft. There were sightings from US and UK pilots. So, of course, the thinking was at first this was some sort of Axis secret weapon. Maybe the Nazis or the Japanese had developed something. Some of these lights would get close enough that they actually seemed to cause engine malfunctions and disturbances until they would move away and often just shoot up into the sky. So the question is, what were these things? To this day, there's not a really clear explanation as to what they were. With the first sightings of the Foo Fighters, the British, the Americans, they all thought it would be enemy technology. And that scared them because they couldn't outmaneuver these. 
nor did they have any defense and couldn't shoot them down. UFO investigators believe the president's thinking is made clear in yet another astonishing memo, never before seen on national television, that he wrote just two days after the Battle of L.A. It speaks about atomic secrets learned from study of celestial devices and material in possession of the army that may be of great significance toward the development of a super weapon of war. Did President Roosevelt keep the truth about UFO encounters from the American people in the name of national security? Researchers say yes, and point to perhaps the most important evidence yet uncovered. A classified memo written by Roosevelt in February 1944, two years after the LA events, a previously unknown committee on non-terrestrial science and technology in which he agrees that non-terrestrial know-how in atomic energy must be used in perfecting super weapons of war to affect the complete defeat of Germany and Japan. Roosevelt also wrote that we should take every advantage of such wonders that have come to us. And he acknowledges the reality that our planet is not the only one harboring intelligent life in the universe. The double top secret memo in which he explicitly refers to this as not from our civilization has been disputed. But these documents were obtained in such a way that makes me think that they are legitimate, that they're real. Now, when we come to the Roosevelt document that talks about acquiring technology and trying to come to grips with the concept that we might not be alone in the universe, there's no doubt that technology acquisition is something that governments and perhaps presidents have thought about in relation to UFOs. The president's memo to a committee devoted to science and technology not of this earth suggests that our government was, in fact, in possession of otherworldly technology, and that Roosevelt knew far more about UFOs than he ever let on in public. Throughout Roosevelt's administration, we know that Roosevelt employed very high security to keep the UFO phenomenon under wraps because it was as classified as the atomic bomb. The trail of uncovered documents proves to researchers the shocking reality that recovered alien technology helped the U.S. build an atomic superweapon of war 